Hello everyone, my name is Torglad Nordo. I'm a BizDuck Administrator Expert for Bouvet in Norway. Uh, I'm going to show you some benefits of throttling and thresholds in BizDuck. What I have is two applications. One is the normal running with default settings. The other one is slow running where I've changed the thresholds to perform slow or less. So the benefit of this might be if you have web services or application that can't handle the load from BizDuck. You can tune down the application to perform less based on the settings for thresholds you have in the hosts. This is my environment, so as I said I have the normal running and the slow running application. Both of them are basically just running in a loop. So I put my folders in and then I mean my files in the in folder and they go out the out folder and then back from the out folder into my in folder. The same happens with my slow running host. I mean slow running application. For my hosts I have the normal host, which has the default settings for threshold, and I have my BizDoc server application host, where I've changed the thresholds. You have four options and four panes here. You have the general of resource-based throttling, race-based throttling, and orchestration throttling. My resource-based throttling, you can see I've changed, and this is the setting showing it. The setting has been modified from its default value of zero. Same goes for the normal host, where I've not changed anything. So what I'm going to show you is how this happened in real life. I'm going to close this window. In another video, I'm going to talk more about the thresholds and throttling states. However, for this scenario, I just want to show you the benefit. So what I have is four windows. Uh, this is my slow running and this is my normal running. So I'm just pasting in 20 files in both folders. I'm gonna go ahead into my administration console and I'm gonna start both of these hosts. And we can start to see the results. So be aware that in the Explorer window there is a slight delay. So you won't get the real life experience but it will give you a pretty good overview. What I've done is I have a throttling state on my publishing and delivery. So they might be slowed down during the publishing state, whereas in receive and orchestration, where it publishes the messages to the message box. And in delivery, where this can happen in orchestration or send ports, where it basically delivers the message outside of BizDoc. As you can see, the normal running application, where the default settings are set, it goes pretty fast. So for some systems, this might be too fast, especially if you're communicating with web services where they have communication errors or problems. However, my normal running is just slowed down based on the settings in my environment, my message box, and the settings I've set for resources, which could be threads per CPU, in-flight messages, etc. This is one of the big benefits of using thresholds and throttling in this talk. Throttling is a good thing. It will basically make sure that you won't melt down, you won't have a breakup, you won't have everything stopping. So I would definitely advise you guys to go into the Technoviki, read my articles about BizDoc throttling and thresholds. Uh, you can also read a lot on my blog at bizdocadmin.com. If you want to learn more about this, you can either watch the new videos I'm going to upload or you can sign up for my BizDoc administration deep dive course. You can either come to Norway and attend it here or you can hire me on site. A lot of information about that you can find on my blog bizdocadmin.com. Thank you very much for watching my video. Uh, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to send me an email. Have a nice day.